Steve Slayton or anybody watching on YouTube, you can see um, I'm in the Christmas spirit. Um, and, and, and this year, by chance, I'm going to visit my sister Dina, her husband Jad, and my two beautiful little nephews, Eli and Sammy, who live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, schnizzle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't believe that we were, we were going bowling in Charlotte. I'm like, well, I'm staying extra. Mm. You're stuck with me a couple extra mm. days. But I needed to gear up the family. You know, oh. I'm going to be there. I want the kids to have jerseys. I want everybody geared up. So where did I go? The damn book exchange, baby. I know. All right. I went to the book exchange because that's it, you buying presents for all those people gets expensive. And 25 percent off saved mm. me a ton of money. I used that bonus code burning couch. Mm, it's burning a couch. Code. It's a good beautiful code. code. Damn near free, man. It's damn near free. So if you're looking to buy your Christmas presents and your, you know, late shopping, don't worry about it. They have also shipping, one day, two day, three day, uh, you know, all available. So if you're a last minute shopper, you can get everything at the book exchange. Uh, I know people want to get their bowl gear. Uh, if you're like me, I wait till after the bowl game because I hate buying <laughs> bowl gear and then us getting blown out and then I never wear it again. Mm. But you know, buy it ahead of time. At the book yeah. exchange, twenty five percent off. Hey, damn near free, Maddie. <laughs> Use that code, Burning Couch. And we are back with the Burning Couch podcast. The year has been on fire for uh, everyone on the show, uh, and some parts of WVU uh, athletics. Uh, so we're we're burning couches though for a good reason now because. Uh, we're going bowling. We're going to talk mm. about that. Um, we're also going to talk about uh, this WVU basketball team and yeah. whatever the hell's going on with it. Uh, plus, we've got some a wish list for Santa. Each of us, we've we've written a, a little. Instead of doing a game today, we're going to do a little wish list. Uh, I'm Matty Stout, uh, podcast radio. I used to say God, but man, uh, this is this this has been a, a year, man. I, I feel mm. more like a a a a a just a mere podcast and radio earthling. Uh, and with me, uh, you can you can't take anything away from him because he's a legend. Number twenty three in your hearts, number one in my heart, mm. Steve Slayton. Hi, Steve. Maddie, Maddie, good to see your beautiful face. <laughs> Glad to be back. Yeah, it's good to see you too, buddy. Uh, um, you know, one thing about podcasting that I will say is that when we don't do a show, it's usually because something is dramatic going on. Something's happening. We, you know, things are happening. But then when we do one, I instantly feel better. And I oh. wonder, like, I should have just done a podcast when I was feeling bad. Hey, Manny, I agree. I think this is the bright spot of every Mountaineer and us, the two biggest Mountaineers. <laughs> um, can we can we flamboast a bit? Because at the beginning of the season, there were a lot of predictions that were put out. Mm. Yes, there was. A lot of naysayers, a lot of guys that didn't trust the climb. They and did not. Too. And we said we would be nine and three. And and if it wasn't for a Hail Mary pass in Houston, we would have been the only ones right. Yes. And I don't think anybody else said even eight and four. So I'm I'm just saying Chalk it up as a win. It's a win for us. That's definitely a win. I see, you know, future's bright and uh the bowl game is gonna be even brighter. So um we haven't talked since the Baylor game. Um you, you know, sometimes it's like we've earned that one. Mm. We mm. had so many games stolen from us. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I was in Pennsylvania at my, I was hunting with my dad. So I had to drive into the little small town. They have a little <laughs> golf course that has a bar. So that was mm -hmm. the only place I could watch the game. They closed at nine o'clock mm. Eastern. So mm. the game's not over yet. There is no signals at, at my, where I, I go hunting. Somehow I got the Tony Caridi call on my phone to play on a certain spot. I had my phone there. So I got to listen to that end of that game with Tony Caridi. And let me tell you something. There is nothing better than listening to Tony Caridi call the end of a game like that. That was, mm. it was 
I, I have cold chills. It was so <laughs> exhilarating. You know, I'm running around screaming because, like, it was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was definitely a, a beautiful game to watch. And I feel like you said um, the way we definitely earned that one. And it's a, it's a beautiful play on a wheel route, running back real route, man. I, that's one of my favorite uh, routes to run or used to run, I'll say. But it's definitely <laughs> one of those things to where find a way to win a game because we've had those heartbreaks. Uh, like you said, bringing up Houston, that was a Hail Mary. That was, you know, a lapse in defensive judgment. But, hey, we definitely earned that Baylor game too. Go to this uh, this bowl for sure. And as a WVU fan, of course, the last you know minutes or seconds left in the Baylor game, I'm still like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna f this up. But <laughs> I didn't I didn't feel the same though. It wasn't as bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I think um, we learned our lesson to where hey, it, it, the game ain't over to the fat lady singing. I think Garrett Green learned his lesson. I I I have cer- you certainly saw a more reserved Garrett Green uh, mm-hmm. the rest of the season after that Houston game. So yeah. Um, you know, for everybody that gave that kid, you know, crap, uh, he's, remember, the ki- he's a sophomore. And by yeah. the way, did you see, he was the first player to say, I'm coming back. There's yep. no doubt about it. Yeah, I definitely think that's a big thing just to build on what this year was. I feel like, you know, you know, those that had faith stayed with faith. Um, we had heartbreak games. That's what's going to come into it. But they finished the season strong and went in that emphatic fashion. That's just showing to you. Hey, what you can roll over to the season to where if, if it takes the last play, if it takes the last 30 seconds, 10 seconds of the game, it ain't over till it's over. And, um, and, and, and you know what killed me though? There are still people on Twitter. I don't know why I stay on there, but I, <laughs> I you know, I, I, I guess I, I like to get mad. Mm. Um, who still had negative things to say about this season? I, I mean, it's 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 definitely a positive note to where you you see like you said we can look back and see what everybody assumed what we were going to be but we became better than what we need we had big game against Penn State I mean the score didn't resemble but we came out fresh out of the gate even you know beating Pittsburgh these games that we play you can see this team camaraderie and then even just having all Americans on our team now to where it's been short you know a few between have we've have having them but you see these players coming in through transfer portal beating well you know playing well and hopefully that's the success to here to come so the um so we win the game we got to wait a week and a half almost to <clears> find <throat> out who we're playing a bowl game and it was down to like like the liberty bowl versus appalachian state <clears throat> and the guarantee rate or no, I don't know what, whatever the one is in, in, in Arizona mm-hmm. and against another, you know, not, not an exciting game. And then, uh, then the Mayo Bowl mm-hmm. decides they don't have enough SEC teams. Mm-hmm. So they're going to put West Virginia in there and, and against UNC, a team who was picked to win the ACC this year. Yeah. They were, mm-hmm. they were, they had high hopes. Yeah. Um, and didn't do as well. So we're playing a quality team. And I was at the last WVU game at Charlotte, that our mm-hmm. season opener there, and we traveled very well. Yes. Very well. So I think you're going to see a lot of WVU fans. I'm going to be there. So if uh, you're, you're a WVU fan and, you know, hit me up on Twitter, I'm definitely going to be there with the family. Um, very excited about uh you know being in charlotte uh it's you know it's where my sister lives it's a city i i, I do I, I adore um have you steve have you ever gone to a bowl game not as a player um yes i went to the fiesta orange bowl when i was in uh, miami i went to that bowl game yeah. how was your uh, experience with how was it going as a as a as a fan oh, and I mean, not it's, a, not it's a player? uh it's definitely great you know i mean just to see Especially how, you know, we win that game, what, 77 to 30 or yeah. 35 or whatever it was. But, you know, it was definitely to see, you know, because I think just our history in bowl games, even back when I was playing to where we didn't always get the respect that we deserved. We always had to earn it or just whip our opponents and take it from them. So for that game, I think that um, solidified, you know, West Virginia still had – heavy caliber of talent. And you can see that still through the NFL sprinkled in NFL now. 
And it looks like most of our, I didn't see, uh, I, I haven't seen the latest report, but it looks like most of our, I didn't see any of our star players that aren't playing in it. So um, I think other than, um, I think Wiley. Yeah. Um, but uh, 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 yeah, I m- might have that wrong. Mm. Somebody can correct me later. And tell me <laughs> I'm, I'm mistaken. Um, but uh, we're, we're playing most of, you know, our starters and everything. But North Carolina is not. Yeah. I mean, I, I, um, I would love to get their best shot, you know, especially just the way we end the season and, and the tough teams we played against. I would love to see to get the best shot because, like you said, you know, it, it feels like some may, may, may fair weather fans may say, oh, well, they didn't have their starters, but they're still a good team. I mean, defense is still lacking, but I know finishing on a high note is very important for us to continue to next season. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, uh, you know, the latest that I've seen. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's, you know, a lot of folks that, that it looks like, you know, we're going to be pretty stacked up. They're going to be missing their star quarterback, of course, uh, which receiver is receiver and linebacker Drake and receiver and linebacker, which are, yeah. I, I'm not going to complain, man. You know, yeah. I, it's still the a last tough running game though. They, still they have, have a good running that, game. Yeah. So, you know, defense got to step up to the plate. Still that, but I think the um, our defense, our secondary should have a field day. This guy, I think he only threw what seven passes for twenty yards or something like that. He hasn't much in game experience, so that's one of those things to where you know we gotta you know slick back our hair, sharpen our teeth, and be ball hawks. Yeah, um, I, I think we're, we're we're lucky there because uh, you know if they had a, a had a great uh, passing game, that might um, you know that's that's a place we've we've not done well all season and excuse me i think it's zach zach frazier it's not mm-hmm. it's, was uh was not gonna play um but um uh other than that we're looking pretty good um the uh the other side of that is um you know this is this you know these bowl games can be a catalyst for the next season you know mm-hmm. we, we go out there and you you've experienced that you know you win a bowl game and then what's that like coming back the next season you well, yeah, like I said before, and I always say, man, ending the season on a high note, and it, and anything with a win. I mean, you can have all the expectations in the world, but winning, you know, winning does help and cure all. So having, especially the opponent you're playing, somebody out of division, because you know how these uh, analysts do, they they pick who they who they think is in a better conference to win. So that's one of those things to where you, you get a notch on your belt to where it's good, you know, to even have a break, go home for a little bit. Go to the game, win the game, go home, a winner, get you a nice little ring. It's definitely a confidence booster because that lasts until the summer. And hopefully we'll see uh, a bunch of mayo poured on uh, Neil Brown. <laughs> uh, I think the, 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 the haters and the lovers will enjoy mm. that. Um, I was just thinking the last bowl game I actually went to <laughs> was, I think, the year I graduated college in 95. It was a car mm. quest bowl. I drove. I took a bus a, on a bus trip with WVU students mm. all the way to Miami. <laughs> oh man! Drunk man. fest. Mm. Terrible game. Um, so I'm hoping this one turns out a little bit better than uh, than my last one. And I think I think at the time our quarterback. I don't know if Jake was still our quarterback. Uh, Kelchner, Jake the mm. Snake. Um, uh, for you know, I, 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 I forgive me if I forget a lot. I'm 50 <laughs> years old. It's a long time ago. <laughs> Um, but, Aging yourself. <laughs> yeah, but I just haven't, you know, I haven't been in position to get to a bowl game. You know, they've always yeah. been somewhere, or you know, we're, we haven't had a lot of them or lately. Say a few, few and far between. Yeah, but, it uh, haven't been yeah. a lot, yeah. or ones worth going to, or ones mm. ones where we're playing somewhere cold, or mm. you know, I mean, uh, this is this is going to be nice. If we uh, jump back on next week, we'll, we'll give some predictions and have some folks in to talk about that. We were going to take a quick break, though, and come back, and I want to talk about the basketball team. From Jam Street Media. 